Hello, I'm Earl Fowler, Fire Chief of the City of Raleigh Fire Department. If you're interested in a career that's challenging, exciting, and rewarding, we may have a place for you. Today's firefighters are better educated, better equipped, and better trained to meet the challenges of the future in the fire service. Take a few minutes and watch the accompanying video, and if you're still interested, we may be interested in you. Nine one one, what's the location of your emergency? It's at first and main. What's the problem? I'd like to report a fire. Uh, there's smoke coming out the back of the house. You have smoke showing? Are you in the house? No. What's your name? Kathy Boone. What's the phone number you're calling from? The number is 555 3145. I need you to get everyone out of the house, okay? I didn't see anyone leave, but they may be at work, or I, I don't know. All right, they're already on the way. Thank you. They started playing the Raleigh Fire Department about 1911. Uh, the aldermen, the supervisors, the different people that were that were in, in power then, as well as as well as uh, civilian people who were interested in getting better protection for the city, uh, wanted a paid fire department. They wanted to order the new motorized equipment. They wanted a fire department because they were getting tired of losing buildings. Raleigh was losing entire city blocks sometimes, several blocks. Back in the early part of the century, they had lost the state capital, which had to be rebuilt. So they wanted motorized equipment. They started planning, and they found a man named Sherwood Brockwell, and they asked him, they would send him off, I'm sure they paid his expenses to New York, to go through the New York Fire Academy up there. And he did so, and uh, he, he, he proved himself to be a very valuable person up there because they, they said that he actually helped rescue some people during the fire that he was responding to with them. But anyway, when he came back to Raleigh, uh, they, they appointed him fire chief and began organizing and modernizing uh, the, the city of Raleigh Fire Department to start as of the uh, first full day of 1913. They hired 17 men at that time. Uh, many of them stayed on for many years. Several of them became chiefs and assistant chiefs. Uh, the starting salary for those men back in those days, I'm told, $55 a month, that was starting salary. And it said 55 to 75. 75 may have very well have been, been the chief's pay. But anyway, they got organized. They, they moved into the uh, new 
not the new, but the new headquarters station, which had been the 1892 uh, headquarters for the, all the volunteers at, down on the 100 block of West Morgan Street. And that had started in 1892 and, and remained uh, as headquarters for the Raleigh Fire Department until about 1939. A number of gentlemen started meeting in the, in the early 50s uh, wanting to plan a rescue uh, squad operation. And, 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 and Chief Keita pushed it, uh, helped them get on straightened out, pushed it into a, a full fledged rescue uh, rescue group and for years they only had one one truck and then they got two trucks and uh, and they answered from I think one and seven for a number of years and then one and six uh, but anyway of course now it still has we still have uh, this this assistance but it's, it's handled by the uh, by the uh, Wake County uh, uh, ambulance service or EMT service now in 82 the Akita Training Center was uh, was 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 built. They had already had the tower. The tower had been built earlier. Uh, that the farm that we as firemen trained in. And uh, but then in '82, uh, they decided to build the, the training center so that men could come down and and they could uh, have classes. Uh, they have large uh, rooms now that they have that they have indoor training in because a lot of people don't realize that, uh, I'm sure most people would, if they think about it, would know that firemen have to learn a whole lot more than just li running a line of hose and, 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 and using a nozzle. I remember someone insulting us in the fire department one time in, in, a, in a class that I was in, and I've and I got disgruntled that person ever since. He called us water squirters. And I, I'm telling this because I want people to understand that the fire service and the fire personnel have a tremendous responsibility to the public to protect life and then property. Life comes first and then property. And that involves a tremendous amount more than just running a hose line. The fire service has been, was very important to me. I feel like that if I had to do it all over again, in finding a profession or a job, and fighting fire, and the fire service is a profession. It's not just a job, not just a position. It's a very important part of the community. And I enjoyed my part in being able to help protect the citizens of Raleigh, help train people of Raleigh about fire safety, help in being involved in the educational program of the, of the, that the fire service has in working with people to, to keep them safe from fire, and actually to participate in fighting the fires and putting forth efforts to rescue people and keep people from losing their lives in fire. I'm Captain Ann Lynn with the Raleigh Fire Department. I've been with the fire department now for 19 and a half years. I joined May 5th of 1980, and now I'm serving in the Fire Prevention Bureau. I've been in the Bureau for 11 years, and I'm a fire inspector, which I go into a certain district of Raleigh, and I do code enforcement. Also, I do fire education. Um, I love my job because I really feel like we're making a difference as far as one, education for fire safety, and also for any kind of safety. And we also do the code enforcements, and this is reducing the fire, like the fires that we have in commercial businesses. I'm Jan Parker, Fire and Life Safety Educator with the City of Raleigh. I've been with the Raleigh Fire Department for 21 years, and what I like best about my job is getting to meet so many wonderful people and hopefully making a difference in helping keep the citizens of Raleigh safe. My name is Tim Duke. Uh, I'm a lieutenant on truck one, A shift. My responsibilities with the fire department is fire investigation. There's currently nine investigators throughout the city. Six of the investigators are assigned to Station 1. Their responsibility is to investigate suspicious fires, fire deaths in the city, and also large commercial fires. And any time the company officer feels that he needs assistance in investigating a fire. The fire investigators work closely with the Raleigh Police Department, City County Bureau of Investigation, State Bureau of Investigation, and ATF. I am Bryant Woodall. Uh, I am Assistant Chief in charge of the Operations Division with the Raleigh Fire Department. Uh, I came to work in April of 1977 and I'm working on my 23rd year now. Uh, my responsibilities now uh, include the Training Division, the Data Management Office, and the actual fire response for the companies in the city. Uh, I've really enjoyed my job. This was something that I enjoyed uh, or that I look forward to 
for a long time and from the very beginning I've, I've always enjoyed this type of work and uh, really look forward to coming to work every day and enjoy what I'm doing. Hello, I'm Larry Stanford. <clears throat> I'm currently the fire marshal and assistant chief for the city of Raleigh Fire Department. I've been with the department for about 20 years. I spent most of my 20 years in the operations division. And during that time, I've been assigned to engine companies, truck companies, rescues. I've uh, been a member of the hazardous materials team, confined space, high level, high angle rescue teams. Uh, I've really enjoyed uh, all of my 20 years here, uh, from starting from firefighting uh, all the way into management as a district chief and a battalion chief, and now as the fire marshal for the city of Raleigh. I'm Philip Woodliffe. I'm the assistant chief of the services division for the Raleigh Fire Department. My job is to char be in charge of support services. They are all of the, I, I basically furnish all of the materials it takes to operate the fire department on a daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly basis. Uh, I'm in charge of buying all, all equipment, such as the fire apparatus that, that we have here behind me, uh, purchasing land and building new fire stations, uh, and keeping all of that equipment that we have on, on the fire trucks and the equipment itself running among, many, uh, uh, among my many duties. My name's Pat Pickard, and I am a captain with the City of Raleigh Fire Department. I've been here about 18 years. Uh, I love my job. I love to get up and come to work in the morning. Uh, it's so gratifying to be able to help people, but aside from that, there's not another career I can think of where the people who work together, and I do stress together, bond like a family. Uh, we go through good times and we go through bad times together and you get really strong that way. Uh, my intention when I first came to work here was that this was just going to be a job and that I would do it part of the time and then I'd move on and two weeks after I got into training I knew this was it for me. Um, I love the physical challenge and I, I love being able to help people. Hello, I'm Dale Wall. I'm a captain with the Raleigh Fire Department here at Fire Station 20. Um, I've been with the fire department for 14 and a half years. Uh, I've spent 12 of those years on the hazmat team and I've spent the last five years here at Station 20 with the Hazardous Materials Response Unit. Uh, Station 20, where we're at here, not only do we have an engine company, but we've also got the truck that you see behind me, which answers the hazmat calls throughout Wake County. Uh, we've got a split contract in the county with the Wendell Fire Department, who also has their own hazardous materials team. And so not only do we answer the city, but we answer half of Wake County as well. Um, I consider this a great job. I've never regretted coming to the fire department, and I would strongly recommend it to anybody who thought they might like a career in public safety. It gives you a chance to have job security, uh, help yourself, and at the same time, perform a service to the other people in the city. My name is Randy Bagwell. I am a district chief of the Raleigh Fire Department, District 2, downtown. I've been with the Raleigh Fire Department for 21 years. I uh, enjoy the work I do. It's, the work we do here is all about helping people. It's, it's gratification from going out and, and helping a child to helping an elderly person. It's never the same call twice. You, you go to something and it's entirely different than the last time you went. And, and it's amazing to me that every time the bell rings, somebody is in need. My name is Tommy Steins. I'm a battalion chief for the City of Raleigh Fire Department. I've been here almost 20 years now. Um, I think probably the best thing about being a firefighter is that you have the opportunity to help people. Um, when people call the fire department, they're generally in need, and it, it is a good feeling to be able to maybe make their situation a little better than it was going to be. So when you get up and go to work, you feel like you're doing something worthwhile. And I think that's a fortunate thing. Not everybody has that opportunity. Hi, my name is David Barefoot. Uh, I've been with the fire department for approximately seven years. Uh, I'm on the hazmat team at Station 20. Um, there's a couple of reasons that I really like the fire service. Uh, one of them is uh, being able to help other people. Um, that's one thing that attracted me. Generally, when someone calls the uh, fire department, they're really happy to uh, to see you arrive. And the second thing is uh, the guys that I work with uh, here at the station, we have a good time, um, a lot of camaraderie. Um, it's, it's a great place to work, good environment. I really enjoy it. Hi, my name is Firefighter Jeff Neal with the City of Raleigh. I've been with the fire department now for two years. I'm a member of the fire department's hazmat team. 
Uh, I enjoy being with the fire department. It gives me the opportunity to help people in their time of need. It's a good opportunity for someone that didn't go to college and has plenty of room for advancement, and I'm enjoying the job. Hi, I'm Lynn Lewis. I'm a captain with Raleigh Fire Department. I've been here for almost 18 years. I, um, I love this job because when I wake up in the morning, I'm able to, to not know what the day holds for me. Um, it makes, makes the job really interesting when I come to work. I also, me being a captain, uh, it, I have the opportunity to use the job skills and the knowledge that I have acquired over the last 18 years to apply it to a bad situation and do whatever I can do to make it better and to make it easier for someone else. Hi, my name is Wilbert Dunn. Uh, I'm a captain with the Raleigh Fire Department assigned to fire station number three, uh, C shift. We're down at Johnson Community College training with the Raleigh Fire Department recruits. Uh, in the background here, you see that we have the Raleigh recruits uh, learning proper hose handling, proper nozzle placement, and how to deal with LP gas uh, in emergency situations. Uh, I've got 25 years with the Raleigh Fire Department, and this is the real life. Thank you and welcome. My name is Brian Batten. I'm 25 years old. I'm from Kinley, North Carolina, a small town in the northern part of Johnston County. I've been a firefighter on a volunteer level for about six years now. I enjoyed it a lot, enjoyed helping people, decided to make a career out of it. Uh, what made me decide to come to Raleigh Fire Department? Raleigh's considered uh, across the state as being one of the best fire departments in the state, if not the best. So I wanted to fight fire with the best. Um, decided to make a career uh, out of firefighting uh, because I enjoy it so much. There's nothing better than knowing every morning when you get up that you're going to a job that you love. Um, makes it doesn't seem like work. You can do something that you like to do for a living and makes it, makes it the best. One thing that I probably do enjoy most about the job is fighting fire. It's always been a passion of mine. Uh, and again, I can't say enough uh, about being able to get up in the morning, go to a job that you love, being able to help people. It gives you a great sense of satisfaction at the end of the day. My name is Andrew Meyer. I'm originally from New York. I just recently moved down to Raleigh when I learned that I was going to get this job with the Raleigh Fire Department. Being a firefighter to me is a long-standing family tradition. My grandfather was a fireman, my father was an ambulance driver, and so it seemed fitting and right for one of his sons to go into the career. Plus, it's something that I've, I've learned to love and enjoy doing. I was a fireman in New York for four years, and nothing can compare to the brotherhood and camaraderie that you get working side by side, eating with people and just living with them on a day-to-day -day basis and then to know that the decisions and the actions that you take will help others and if it can, anything that we can do can make one person's day better then it's all worth the, uh, the risks in a, in a job that we do and it's just, it's a great profession, it's a noblest profession and it's one place in the world where you can still make a difference and feel good about doing it. I'm Freddie Lim with the fire department. I've been here for, I'm a district chief, I've been here for 27 years. And this is a good career opportunity because it's what you make of it. If you work hard, then you'll succeed. My name is Grant Williams. I am 22 years old. I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, ever since I was young, I knew exactly what I wanted to be. And I, that, was, that was a firefighter. Even in high school, uh, when I graduated, I, I was pretty much the only one I knew that knew exactly what, I was, what field I was going into. And about six months ago, <clears throat> I got the job with Raleigh and we started the academy. It just seems, seems just like yesterday we started and I, didn't, I wasn't, didn't know anything about the fire department and fire service and uh, six months later we're here and we're uh, going in and, and, and burning a house. Um, this is a, it's a great career not only to, get, to go in and have a good time and, and to, to burn and to save, uh, to save lives and help people but also saving property. Um, this job is very rewarding, uh, very fulfilling, knowing that you go home the next day and you, you could have saved a life. Um, it's, it's a great job. Hello, my name is Commander Gaddis. I'm the Director of Training for the Raleigh Fire Department. Minimum qualifications for the Raleigh Fire Department Academy is that you must be 21 years of age, have a high school diploma or the equivalent, have a valid driver's license, I uh, have a good driving and criminal background record for the past seven years. If you are interested in a career with the Raleigh Fire Department, please contact the Raleigh, Fire, uh, Raleigh Personnel Department uh, for more information. Hi, my name is Terry McCabe and I um, got to the Raleigh Fire Academy approximately six months ago and uh, we're getting ready to graduate in about a week from now. 
and uh, I originally came here from New York about three years ago and volunteered with a local company. And to, I guess during that time, I kind of fell in love with being a firefighter as a full-time position. Um, I absolutely love it. So far, it's been, it's been great. I have, uh, I have no regrets whatsoever about it, and uh, I really enjoy it. The, the, uh, the six-month academy that we're just about ready to complete has been extremely intense, and uh, it requires a lot of dedication, a lot of hard work, but uh, it's, it's really extremely invaluable. They, I mean, they, they just teach you so much, and uh, it's really good. It's just, it, it's been a lot of work, but it's been a lot of fun, almost like a labor of love, and I really enjoy it. And I just can't wait to get out online with the guys and uh, just have a good time and start doing what I've been training to do for the last six months. And uh, I would encourage anyone who's interested to definitely apply. It truly is the best job in the world. Um, it's just a lot of personal satisfaction out of helping people. And uh, that's probably the biggest reward out of it all.